Hey, here we go. Departing uh, Hobart Gate. Just had a lovely uh, wave from the sailing club. New Zealand. Cape Horn. 5,000 miles. Uh, my biggest fear now, of course, is Cape Horn and, and the end of the season there. Um, as every week goes by, chances of getting hammered um, increase dramatically. Statistically, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the boat that's likely to get the, you know, the worst conditions. The key is to get around the horn by the end of March, really. That's, that's, my, that's my mission. I've got to get around the horn by the, by the last days of March. Oh yeah, I've got a bit of a forecast that tells me I've got some more weather coming. There's a severe weather warning, uh, which isn't that severe. And then two days down the track from now, the 9th and the 10th could be really uh, gnarly. The forecast that I saw that I might be running into would have me with anything up to 10 metre seas as well, 10 metres. So that's, you know, it's attrition. You know, one more, one more gale away from something breaking. There's a, an old sailor's saying, I don't know where it comes from, but what it's a credited to it just says uh, below 40 degrees south there's no law below 50 degrees south there's no god i hope they're wrong <laughs> hailstones this is why this place is mad i had sunshine two minutes ago uh, i had a bit of a shocker this morning we got knocked down again uh, but really knocked down this time uh, spread us in the water it's, a lot, it's become a lot worse than I was envisaging, actually. Um, I've been uh, spending a lot of time out in the cockpit, trying to help steer, basically, help the hydrovane. I can't. I'm about 80 miles from Cape Horn. I'm in the Drake Passage, and uh, I've got real problems. It's been a hell of a night, hell of a 24 hours. This so-called gale, little gale, that we've bothered about, has turned out to be enormous and I'm trying to hand steer through this horrendous scenario going on here and the, uh, and the hydrovane's naked uh, and it's like being strapped to a rodeo horse it ain't pretty and I got hit, pooped by a massive wave in the cockpit and it's picked me up and it's put me over the rails I'm hanging over the guardrails just underwater it just picked me up like I was a rag doll I'm gonna get some sleep I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get an hour of sleep or something like that. 